been uh, a little sad to be honest. Obviously, uh, you know, Saris has been uh, an amazing part of my life. Um, you know, I feel very fortunate to have been able to be here for the time that I've been here. And um, you know, it's while well, with great excitement of what lies ahead that you know you can't help but feel a little bit you know upset at the fact that um, you know I won't be here day to day. Tell us a bit about this move to the New York Jets and how it all came about. Yeah, look, it's, uh, you know, playing in the NFL is something I've always wanted to do. You know, it has been a dream of mine. And uh, after the World Cup, um, you know, kind of uh, looked into some options, uh, you know, that were coming available and, um, you know, pursued a little bit more heavily, um, you know, around February time and, um, you know, ended up having, you know, a few options uh, on what to do and, uh, you know, settled on New York. Uh, the New York Jets is, you know, is the best fit for me. And that position, tight end, I mean, you've got the skills, obviously, from your basketball days as well that I'm sure you want to take into that position. Yeah, look, um, you know, tight end's a position, obviously, it requires a little little bit of skill as well as, you know, a bit of size and strength in the blocking game. So, um, you know, hopefully, um, you know, I'll be able to combine, you know, the, the skills that I have, you know, had from playing basketball with, uh, you know, maybe some of the physical skills that I've been able to pick up playing rugby. And not the easiest transition to make, I presume. No, no, by no stretch. You know, it's going to be uh, an incredible amount of work. Um, you know, the game itself is, you know, incredibly complicated. Um, you know, there's a lot of detail that comes along with it. So, um, you know, it's going to be, uh, you know, a very long, a very long road and uh, a very difficult road of, uh, you know, getting that knowledge base and, um, you know, eventually to hopefully be a good player. It's, uh, it's been an incredible journey and, you know, I just feel very fortunate that, that the opportunities have, you know, um, you know, have come up and that I've kind of been able to make, make the most of them. Um, you know, I, I know there's, uh, the story is not nearly complete and there's a lot of work that I need to do um, to make this next phase, you know, a success. But, you know, it's very exciting and uh, when you look back at the, at the whole thing uh, in its entirety, um, to even t uh, up to this stage, you know, it has been, has been amazing and um, have, you know, very, you know, a lot of very fond memories. And is it a bit of a risk going at obviously the height of your rugby career so far, changing into a completely different sport? Yeah, it is absolutely. It, it, it is a risk. Um, you know, it's obviously something that you know I've thought about. You know, spent a lot of time thinking about, and um, it's something I haven't just uh, you know made a spur of the moment decision to go and do. Um, like I said, it's it's always been a dream, and you know my my thing has always been to follow your dream. Uh, you know, wherever possible, and. Um, you know, while there is a little bit, there is a risk associated with it, you know, I'll obviously do the best I can to, you know, try and reduce that risk. Is it a transition you can see other rugby union players perhaps making in the future? Oh, I'm sure it is, I'm sure it is. It hasn't, hasn't really been done before outside of our punters. Um, but, you know, there's obviously, there is obviously athletes out there who are, would be capable of making the switch. And I guess it's a matter of identifying them and the positions that they could be used in in American football. But I'm sure that, you know, at some stage, you know, I, I think um, you know, there'll be other guys who would be capable of doing it as well. And I know it's obviously a long road before you can play at that highest level in the NFL it's going to be a lot of work needed to do by yourself yeah yeah without a doubt without a doubt you know and I'd be um, doing everyone who plays in the NFL a big disservice to say that I could you know come in and um, you know just just contribute straight away because it is obviously you know an incredibly uh, technical game and the guys who are doing it are you know incredibly professional athletes so there's a lot of work that I need to do to be able to compete at that level but um, you know that's something that you know I'm not afraid of doing and you know if uh, with a little bit of luck you know hopefully I can uh, you know, I can contribute and be a big good player. My time here has just been amazing, you know, from the supporters to, the, you know, the, the ground staff, the coaches, and, you know, obviously, most importantly, all the players that, you know, I've spent the last four years with. It's been, um, you know, it's been, uh, you know, some of the, you know, the, best, the best years of my life. And, um, you know, I just hope I can, can look back and I'll be very happy if I could, you know, say that the, my time at Saracens hasn't been, you know, the best time of my life.